that people wanted to know, which was how do I get African-centered or culturally relevant curriculum? Number one. Queen Thais is riding the wave of a growing number of black parents looking to homeschool their children. Thais has homeschooled seven of her own children to much success. One of her adult children is working as a chef and another runs a pilot training program. She began her homeschooling journey back in 1995, where things were different than they are today. So I'm like, well, are there any of us that do this? I'm not seeing anything, nothing online. I'm just like, where, where are we at in this? Where's the representation? Thais never went to college, but she didn't let that stop her homeschool ambition for her children. We did a lot of field trips. We used to go and study under the willow tree in Central Park and then they play, and then we go to the museums and everything became a lesson. And I started to, because I didn't have all the textbooks, I started to look at everything around us as curriculum. Thais builds connection with her children by tapping into their interests and turning those interests into learning exercises. In 2011, she turned her passion for educating children into a business called Liberated Minds Education, which provides an African-centered curriculum trainings, support, and resources to black families homeschooling their children. Since the pandemic, she's seen 800% growth in business and now supports thousands of families worldwide through her program. That people wanted to know, which was how do I get African-centered or culturally relevant curriculum? Number one, that was number one. I want black books. I want things that pertain to my children. I want the connections, the dots to be made. And um, the other thing was um, support. The pandemic forced schools to adopt a virtual school model, sending students home to learn to minimize the spread of COVID-19. A 2020 survey by the Census Bureau suggests a growing number of families discovered learning from home is a viable option. For black families, 3.3% homeschooled their kids in the spring of 2020. By the fall of 2020, that number jumped to 16 percent. Joyce Burgess, the program director of the National Black Homeschool Association, gives her reason for the increase. They're making these conclusions that peer pressure, you know, they don't have to be bothered with unnecessary racism. They don't have to be bothered with bullying. They don't have to be bothered with negative peer pressure. Some parents have chosen to bring their children home because the virtual setting, some parents just are not able to navigate that. Thais says about 85% of students in her program go on to college, while the remaining go into the workforce. Research firm Think Impact found that 67% of homeschool students successfully graduate from college. A 2015 study from the Journal of School Choice also found black homeschool students score higher than black public school students on standardized tests. Dr. Cecil Webster is an adult, adolescent, and child psychiatrist and psychotherapist. He says in traditional school settings, black students tend to face racial biases, microaggressions, and other slights that could limit their full potential and negatively affect their mental health. That might be a viable option for their um, child so they don't have to be exposed to uh, resource officers at school or be suspended at higher rates or have teachers um, have a negative bias for things that are, are really perhaps just anxiety or learning disability rather than um, being um, uh, a difficult kid or oppositional kid. Like it provides a like a like a real viable um, option. Both Burgess and Thais says since they began their homeschooling journey, advances in technology and an abundance of resource groups tailor-made for the Black homeschool experience have made it easier for new parents to jump in. I think it's all about mindset. Mindset is everything. We have to know that we can do it. Why? Because if we, we don't have any other option than to be in the driver's seat of our children's education. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Kevante Smalls. Thank you.